Hello, welcome to the video and today not a review but just a little tour let's say of my office and uh, more specifically of the half scale helmets that I have. Um, I had some requests to show my collection. I don't have everything on display but all of my helmets are on display so I'll start with those. As you can see I put most of them mounted on the wall and uh, there's one in a display, well frame let's say. It is the Nigel Mansell 92 helmet which has been signed as well and I put all the missing decals on it as well. But uh, this one comes in a very nice wall mounted frame and all the rest are put on the wall in a chronological order and uh, I put them straight on the wall on a uh, IKEA toilet roll holder so um, I had them on a backboard before but uh, now I put them straight on the wall and it uh, looks better that way I think. I don't have a particular uh, team in my helmet collection, I just uh, try to uh, get the ones that I really liked. A lot of Schumacher helmets because I uh, am a huge Schumacher fan of course and um, he was my childhood hero so I try to um, collect as many of, them, of his helmets as I could. I also try to upgrade the helmets as much as I can either with uh, missing tobacco decals or missing parts and uh, tear off strips to make him look uh, most authentic as possible as authentic as possible and uh, yeah as I said you'll see it now there's not a real exact team in it a lot of Schumacher helmets just that's the maybe the only team but sometimes just uh, the helmet design that I really liked uh, like that uh, Weber or Hamilton Singapore helmet for instance and uh, or helmets that I thought were uh, maybe historically significant and some of them uh, were signed as well which is always uh, a nice thing that I die that I really strive to uh, get them all signed but uh, it's always nice to have that and uh, it kind of ends here with the um, Mick Schumacher Formula 3 helmet I have two uh, full scale helmets as well those are non-official replicas that I got from uh, yeah, well a collector that didn't want them anymore I guess so um, but I got them cheap so uh, it's uh, good to look at and here's a visor an authentic visor of uh, Yarno Trulli which has been signed a 2001 I believe 2001 Jordan visor and of course I have a lot of Stoffel van Dorn stuff being a Belgian and uh, his helmets have been signed as well which is uh, pretty nice and then in the main display case I uh, or display um, I have uh, the display cases of the half scale helmets and the 118 car sets with the Alonso Indy which we've uh, reviewed before the 2017 Vettel helmet as well which has been reviewed as well and then under that the uh, Charles Leclerc 2018 Sauber helmet and next to it is actually my favorite helmet of the collection a custom made Yarno Trulli 2004 Renault helmet the chrome Trulli helmet which is uh, yeah just a beautiful beautiful helmet I think. Another Monaco helmet, the uh, James Hunt tribute helmet of Kimi Raikkonen that he used back in uh, 2012 alongside the car and James Hunt's car. Then the Berger 86 helmet that I had uh, reviewed as well together with the car. Another custom made helmet then yet another custom made helmet, the uh, Max Verstappen Spanish Grand Prix first win helmet to go with the, uh, with the car. And here we have the 2015 Lewis Hamilton helmet, the first Bell helmet. And the uh, Senna 84 that I tried to um, modified to Monaco spec, Monaco 84 spec, like the car next to it, 
There's a little piece that actually fell off the helmet, but I have to re-glue it. Then this uh, beautiful uh, Monster Energy Jensen Button 2009 VIP set. I modified the helmet to um, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix spec with all the uh, signatures of uh, the mechanics on it and the stickers on it to celebrate their Constructors World Championship win as well. And there's two more on my desk. The Heki Kovalainen 2011 Angry Birds helmet and the Sebastian Vettel Abu Dhabi 2010 Mini Champs helmet. So yeah, that was basically it. Here's another quick overview of my current collection on display. As I said, I have lots more stuff, but yeah, I'm a bit running out of uh, display space, but I might find an arrangement for that later. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my collection and I hope to see you soon in uh, another video. Thanks for watching and see you then. Bye.